What's going on guys? Welcome back to the mountains and welcome Aaron What's up? for the second time. Guys, it's been almost one year exactly that we got together and we hiked through the mountains and caught some trout, did some tenkara fishing, which if you don't know what that is, I didn't know what it was last year. If you don't know what it is, we'll show everything to you. It is pretty cool. It's, it's an unusual type of fishing. I watch fishing shows, fishing channels, and I had never heard of it till 2021. So it's kind of a rare type of fishing, I would say. I think you guys will like it. But right off the bat, Aaron jumps out of his vehicle and he's like, <laughs> look what we found already. Guys, we have here some wild raspberries. That is a good sign for the day. We are going to pick some of these. Aaron's going to grab you. Oh, they, when they come right off, they're usually, if you have a hard time pulling them, guys, at raspberries, they're not ripe enough yet. But these look like they should be good. They're pulling right off of there. Sweet. So, guys, not only are we fishing today, but we're also going to do some foraging, some mushroom foraging, and whatever berries or anything else we can find. Looks like some people have been here before or some animals sweet well there is the first find of the day my friends we are going hiking now let's see what we find <laughs> All right, my friends, so summertime is the best time to find mushrooms here in the Appalachian Mountains. And uh, we're gonna keep our eye out all along the path and stuff for different things we can forage. Speaking of which, what is that? Whoa. It looks like some type of elite, but it's way past. Yeah, way past his prime. That is cool. Is it, so what is, is that? Look bugs at the it'll be spongy that is it oh wow not edible i'm assuming uh i don't know what kind of belief that is some are okay. some aren't um but that one's way too far to even tell okay that's cool though it is we got chanterelles oh nice nice first chanterelle of the day there's a few here whoops cool man more up in there oh yeah all right, guys, first edible mushrooms of the day. These are called chanterelles. Well, I found an expired one. Oh, look, I, I found like three here. Er, yeah, those are chanterelles, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, man, that's cool. Nice, guys, first first catch of the day. <laughs> Watch out right behind you. Oh, there you go. Right in the path, folks. Look at that. Now you pinch them off. Yeah, I'm seeing. You want to okay. take. You want to get them above where the mycelium is, and you don't want to disturb it so they can grow back next year. Oh, I see. Okay, oops. I pulled just the fruiting body of the. Well, yeah. next time I'll pinch mine off, guys. You can see I pulled up the root, or you know, just pulled on it. So I will pinch it off next time. Oh, big, big chanterelle back here. Oh, nice. Oh yeah. Right here. Oh yeah. <laughs> Look at that, guys. Sweet. I'll show you what I was doing. Sounds Actually, good. Actually, I'll do it with a knife. It's even better. Okay. I'll you can mine. cut them without disturbing the mycelium at the bottom. Okay. So just take a That's knife. A slick little knife. Thing. Just cut it off. So you'll have a little stump there so the mycelium underneath has not been disturbed. Okay. And they'll grow back there next year. That is cool, man. Sticks out of the way. Guys, these are some of the most delicious mushrooms I've ever eaten. Some people like these better than morels. Mm. I've never had morels myself. I've never had no. I've never had fresh morels, but uh, but they are. I mean, really, some that of the one's, best. That one's probably uh, a little past, a little too buggy. Yeah, but. the bugs kind of eat on them, guys. Yeah. Found more. On this Oh yeah, another nice. One. Oh, that's beautiful right there, right by the green moss. Food of the forest, folks. Yes. That's a beautiful one right there. Black in here. Oh. Whoa, that is wild. I've never seen one like that. I don't either. 
Guys, if uh, there are any mushroom uh, experts down in the comment section, please tell us what that one is. I have never seen that before. Let's see what the underneath looks like. One of the best ways to identify mushrooms is the underneath. Okay. Top and oh, I see. Inside of the stem too. All right. If anybody can tell us what that is, we are uh, we're clueless. It almost looks like the inside of a sunflower. <laughs> yeah. Huh. Look at this, guys. Oh man, beautiful mountain stream full of trout, wild trout. What is that? Oh! I believe that's Amanita Jacksoni. Okay. Uh, oh, that's beautiful. So, that, huh, that looks fake. Like if you painted that. So, most people to identify Amanitas will actually take the whole thing out. Which I don't trust myself to identify this, but I believe it's Amanita Jacksoni. That is a cool looking mushroom. Which, if it is, it's one of the only, uh, only mushrooms edible without cooking. But oh. I don't trust any Amanitas because those have some of the most toxic mushrooms. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, guys, we are straight up going up the mountain. It's like a hundred foot drop there. We're supposed to be getting close to a waterfall. Oh, pulses. Oh, they're false? Yeah. See how oh. they got actual gills? Oh, yeah. I thought that is an excellent little cluster. Oh, that's beautiful. First waterfall we're going to fish today, guys. Are we going down this little trail here? Yep. It gets steep, so you probably need both hands. Okay. This is cool. Wow. Look at the big old tree that fell in. All right. All kinds of wild trout around here. So this pool down here is what you're talking about? Yeah. Sweet. All right, guys, this is the first pool we're gonna fish at. Why don't you guys look at Aaron's backpack? I think it's real cool. He has all his fishing stuff right in this little, like, shoulder pocket. Like the uh, lines, lures, this little thing. Inside your pocket here. Got all my flies, floating. That. And then little straps on the side to hold extra rods. That is cool. I love how com compact Tenkara fishing also, is. Also, if you want, you can take another line or a line holder, put it on the front here. Which this one, the hole is a little bit too big for that clamp, so uh, that's why it's not on there right it now. It slips off a little bit. Yeah, but if you find the one that's small enough, you can stick it on there. That's cool though. Pretty I like. Handy. I've never seen that like backpack on your mini backpack on your regular backpack. Yeah, the Yona Simple Pack. Super nice. All right, guys, we have here my backpack. Oh, look at that! It has an Ace Video symbol on. I'll tell you guys about that in a second. But first. All right, so would you explain to everybody what Tenkara fishing is? Tenkara is one of the uh, traditional Japanese forms of fly fishing. No reel, just a fixed line on the rod. Just rod, line, and fly. Pull this off here. This little red part is the lillian, which attaches to the tip of the rod. Then you attach your line to that. And then you just telescope it out. Gently, mind you, the tips are fragile. And you eventually have a rod. <laughs> that is cool. You told me last time some guys will use the same fly their whole life. Yeah, um, a lot of guys will use the one fly technique, which Tinkara is not about matching the hatch or using exactly what bug is out here. Uh, it's all about manipulation. You, you move the fly in such a manner that it entices the strike versus just dead drifting a fly that looks exactly like every other, other bug out here. You can do that if you'd like, which I see a trout right now. Oh yeah, I see him too. All right, guys, we got trout in this first pool. And that is your fly box. Very nice. So I've got a bunch of them, but uh, this one just has the ones I use the most in it. I'm actually going to use a pattern my buddy invented. Oh, that's cool. Camp's dry fly. It's kind of a mix between uh, like a caddis, a humpy, and on the bottom that little hackle there. Kind of like a, a gnat, so it can imitate a lot of different bugs. Alright. Alright guys. Ready? I am ready, man. Get down here. First cast of the day, my friends.
Oh, dude, a, a butterfly. That's such good luck when a butterfly comes around. It, it's The only thing that's better is when a butterfly lands on your rod tip. Oh, dude, that was... <laughs> nice! That was so cool. You bow and arrow shot that <laughs> right on top of him. And he came out. Oh, beautiful. Gorgeous, Brookie. Wow. Let me get him down to some water. Okay. That, that was so cool. Just like bow and arrow shot. He just came out from under that log. That is cool. He is feisty. What a gorgeous brook trout. Nice catch. That was so cool. That's on the dry fly. Right, Look at that. right in the corner of the mouth. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> there he goes. Sweet dude. Nice catch. He just is, is that what that's called? Bow and arrow shot it? Bow and arrow Very nice. <laughs> Those trout just they must have their eyes just always rotated up looking for little bugs to land on the surface because as soon as that hit, he turned and grabbed it. Oh dude! <laughs> nice! Another one! Over top of the log over. Over there. top. That is sweet. Fast action. <laughs> nice. Another good size one too. Gorgeous. Right on the nose. Look at the look at the colors on that guys. Wow man. I love the white fins on it. Cool. Got him! Oh shoot, I missed it! Oh. That was, that's a big one! Yeah, that was... You see two of them now. Yeah, that was a good one. Oh. I wasn't quick enough. It's alright, take your time. Hit. Oh, I got one. I didn't, I wasn't... If you... I didn't see him grab it. Yeah, if you can't see your fly, just watch your line, and if it stops or darts in a different direction, you probably got one. Uh-huh. Whoa! Whoa! Hey! <laughs> My first throat trap. Whoa! He's... Oh, he just fell oh. through the net. That's how small he was. I almost threw him back in the trees there. <laughs> Well, uh, I guess it, it landed in the net, so that counts as a catch. <laughs> Is this a new thing to your arsenal here? Yeah, it's the uh, Handy Pack Net. Okay. This one specifically is from Tinkara Rodco, but there's a bunch of companies that have their own version. Okay. There's a plastic handle with mesh nets. Uh, I like the, the rubberized with the wooden handle personally, but got a little wooden, or not wooden, leather holster here. Okay. Just collapse it down. That is sweet. So it doesn't catch on. You can hike around. It doesn't catch on trees and all that stuff. Wh and whip it out. Oh. When I'm ready for a fish. <laughs> That's cool. Fast draw your net. Yep. And of course, people will say the wire will get stuck and stuff. You can bend it back into place if it does, but it's pretty good at holding its springiness. That's cool. Guys, Aaron brought smoked salmon with him that your aunt and uncle from Alaska brought you. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Mm. That's good. Smoked salmon, one of my favorite. Dude, if you catch one up there. He got one. He got it's one. It's a good one. It's a good one too. Oh, oh. nice. <laughs> Are you kidding me from that pool right up there under that log jam? Yes. Unhooked himself or herself. That looks like a female. Sweet. Feisty. Is there any way you can tell it specifically it's a female? Well, where her size is pretty substantial, her head's a little round to be a male. Mm. She's not as colorful, fatter belly. Cool. I would say that's a female. Yeah. Sweet. It's easier to tell in the fall though, because the males will get big, ugly uh -huh. hooks on their jaws and black mouths. There you go. <laughs> cool, man. Sir.
Look at this. Oh, wow, yeah. Aaron was telling me, he said, there aren't that big of pools directly underneath the waterfall, and he was, he was right. He's drying out his fly, guys. The, uh, apparently the dry fly, every once in a while, gets too soggy. So to dry it out, he whips it around a few times. Oh, wow, he's fishing just that little pool right here. This is cool. Oh, nice! Oh! oh. Very small, guy. Very small, okay. Like the, the French fry one that I got. French fry trout. Oh, nice! Oh, that's a big one. Yeah! Dude, you guys are right in that spot right there. Woo! Another fat girl. <laughs> Look at that thing. Guys, for this for treats like this, that is a really, really nice fish. I mean, she's every bit of eight inches. Nice. A trophy in Tennessee is 10 inches. A trophy is 10? Oh, nice. That's, that's two inches away from trophy. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever caught a trophy one before? My PB is 12 inches. Oh, 12. Oh, good yeah. grief. <laughs> I mean, it, it was from the tip of my finger to about right there on my tattoo. Okay. About a foot exactly. Nice. And she's going to go right back up. Right back up to the waterfall. How cool. Flies are all over me. Yeah. They keep landing on the top of my head and biting me. It for that one. All right. Well, my friends, that was cool. Whoa. This is a tough spot to harvest in. Yeah. Hey, then why nobody else has. All right. Nice. Right on the hillside here. Coin up. Further up and further in. Guys, check it out. A little micro crawfish. Let me see if I can get him. I got him. He tried to get away, but he's too tiny. What do you guys think? Should I start a crawfish aquarium? Look at that. <laughs> That's great, little bait size. Look, he's, his pinchers are so small, he can't even pinch my thumb. Oh, guys, Aaron just, oh yeah, big salamander right here. He's under a rock. They're fast. He's... Oh, oh shoot. Look how fast that guy is. It's hard to catch guys without squishing them when you're in your hands because they are pretty, uh, oh, nice, you got them. There we go. <laughs> cool. Look at that. Big guy. I don't know what kind that is. But the trout eat those. When they, not the guys that size, probably. They're probably too big. Got a nice oh. paddle tail on him. That is cool. Very nice. Because we could start, look, you got the little crawdad. We can, ah. oh, <laughs> yes, we can start a cool little aquarium with a micro I crawfish. I wasn't expecting the crawfish. <laughs> <Tell me. laughs> my friends, Romans, countrymen, I try to catch my second fish. That, that little french fry one, I don't know if that counts. When it can fall through holes in the net, see if I can do a bow and arrow right into the shadowy. That was real close. Maybe right there. Got him. Look at that. <laughs> Sweet. <Nice. laughs> All right. We, oh, the hook came right out. Another little French fry one, but I'll take it. It got about get through the net again. <laughs> yeah, just about. That was cool. Like my line didn't go downstream. I was like, oh, I must be in a trout's mouth there. <laughs> Those are beautiful. Oh my gosh, I didn't even see. Oh, here, hold this. That's cool. Look at that, guys. That's a... Wow, that is really cool. <laughs> nice find. There are so many cool things out here, guys. <laughs> like. This giant mushroom, again, that's cool. Wow, 
I've never seen so many mushrooms in one place before. Um, even the other places in the mountains I've come, like this is just every few feet there's a mushroom. All right, my friends, we do have a brand new Ace Videos backpack for sale on the website. I'll link it in the description. I'll tell you more about it in a little bit. We're gonna keep fishing. All right, so Aaron had a friend who told him about another big waterfall farther up the path. Aaron's never been much farther than where we are right now. So we are going to be exp both exploring new territory from this point on. Aaron is my guide, but from this point, he doesn't know what's up here either. Ooh, look at that hole down there. I know, that looks really good. Should we fish that one? Oh my goodness, look at that mushroom. What the heck? <laughs> that is the biggest mushroom I've ever seen. Look, guys, you gotta see. That is by far the biggest. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. That is a monster mushroom. I'm not picking that, I'm just, we're just gonna observe this one. Look, a little bug is burrowed down into it. That is the biggest mushroom. I'll bet that weighs, that weighs a lot, like close to a pound maybe mushroom. That's, that's crazy. Getting steep again, guys. Keep going up the mountain. Let's hope we're close to the other waterfall. I hear waterfall. <laughs> Is, how do you get to it? Hmm. That has to be it. Yeah. Unless we have to blaze our own trail. Oh, it's kind of traily. <laughs> a nice big pool down below this waterfall too. You think it's worth? Should we? Should we take the trip? I might even leave some stuff up here. All right, my friends, we're gonna go straight down toward those waterfalls. There's a nice big pool at the bottom, and actually, the fact that there's not a trail down to it means that there might be some big undisturbed trout in it. All right, going down is the easy part. It's gonna be hard. What is it? Oh, nice! It was already worth it. These things are wow. See, a couple of them are brown already, but these three or four are good. Mm -hmm. Oh, sweet, guys. Wow. That is beautiful. Look at the stalks on these guys. Yeah. <laughs> that is... Wow. Well, it was already worth it. Specimens. <laughs> <laughs> guys, we, got, we found more like chanterelles in this one little spot as far as because the size of them than we have all those little ones we've been gathering along the path. Wow. We took a chance, came down to uh Unfortunately, these are bad. Mm. Well, you know what? That one is working. I could cut... Cut the soft part off. We got here like... That is cool. A few hours ago, maybe. <laughs> Excellent. All right, now let's see. We got some big trout in the waterfall here. Which weapon are you going to choose? Let's back go with to, this guy again. Back to that one. Excellent. This place is a little thick for the longer rods. Okay. All right, you want in there? Um, sure, sure. Hit. Got him. Oh, oh. <laughs> that's... <laughs> well, oh, he fell through. <laughs> Why do I keep catching the loop? <laughs> he was so small, he just fell through the net again. <laughs> All right, well, you only have a go at it, for sure. That was a really red one, though. That was that was real pretty. <laughs> if only you guys could have seen it. I'm, I'm king of the three or four inches here. Oh, I saw that. That was a micro trout. Yeah. Nice. Another one. <laughs> I always have a little bit different pattern on them. Go on back, bud. Wow. He's got... Want me to hold it? Yeah. Aaron is going to climb up the waterfall. 
and see what's up there. Well, this was a beautiful, beautiful spot, but we are hungry now and we haven't been keeping any of the brook trout because brook trout are this kind of a trophy trout creek and they have to be over eight inches anyway to keep but there are some rainbows downstream when you go down in elevation so after we get done climbing this we are going to head back down the mountain and try to catch some rainbow trout for lunch back down the mountain we go my friends the, 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 I tell you what, the hike back's gonna be a thousand times easier than, oh, yeah. <laughs> than here. Look, right here. Oh. We passed these last time. How did we miss all of them? <laughs> we must have been looking at the right side. Uh huh. That's where we were getting most of them. Like, we had to really not be looking to miss these ones. I guarantee you, we were both looking on this side because <laughs> we had found some. Uh huh. That's a nice one. Nice, you got your Instagram on there. By the way, guys, I'll link Aaron's Instagram in the description if you want to connect with him. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> nice. It's my Fly Wallet. Got my license in it. Sweet. Fly Wallet. I didn't know they made these. Okay. These are all tied by a buddy of mine. Another buddy of mine tied these. And I got the rest of these from a local fly shop. Sweet. I could try that guy out. You know what I think I'm going to do, man? I'm going to get out a, uh, an Ace Videos tube, and I'm going to see if I can get uh, rainbow trout on one of these. Nice. Five of my favorite colors, and this one for the creeks, hare's ear has been the one that uh, is definitely... Funny. You got a hare's ear nymph on. Uh, oh, you got a hare's... Oh, really? Is that what we've been using today, or is that... Did you just uh, tie that? No, this is what I'm about to use for the rainbows, oh, but... Well, sweet. Well, we can see which is if they like the fly or the, uh, the tube better. All right, my friends, armed. We both have a hare's ear color. I have a tube, Aaron has a fly. We are in rainbow trout territory now. We've moved down a ways. Let's see if we can get any. Got him. Got one on the tube. Oh, there he goes. It was a brookie on the tube. A little, a little brookie, four inches. Positive vibes here. What? Positive vibes here. Yes, sir. Oh, I saw that. That was cool. Sometimes they just like swirl at it, that but don't. Really oh, nice. Oh, saw that one. That's a rainbow. That's a rainbow. A good one. Yes! Nice! Yes, sir! There's Mission lunch. accomplished! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Nice! Good one. Beautiful rainbow. Great size for this creek. That was cool. I, that take was so cool to watch him come up and slurp that. Could be a few mouthfuls. Exactly. Excellent. This has been a great day, man. I mean, wow. How cool. Should try my little tube here. Got one. Dude, I got a rainbow. That <laughs> sweet on the tube. Just in case it falls off. Excellent. A good eating size one. Awesome, man. Sweet, that was quick. Just dropped it down. Oh, I got a fish Look back here. Yeah. <laughs> this holding, is nuts. I was just holding the fly in the water. Is that it? Oh, it's a brookie. <laughs> <laughs> My friends on the uh, little, what's this color? Oh, hare's ear. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. This is cool, man. <laughs> this is so much fun. I cannot believe how much they're biting today. 
This is a very blessed day, guys. I mean, it's not every day you can come out and catch this many trout in such such a short amount of time, too. Nice. This is amazing. He's pretty small, but I mean, if you want to keep him in, um, still a rainbow. Yeah, you know, we're just kind of eating them for taste anyway. We'll uh, we'll let that little guy go. What? Something rare. Something rare? I call this naked trout. Got no spots. Huh. It's a rainbow. Huh. No spots on it. Like, do you know why? I have no clue, but I've caught one like it before. That's cool. I've been wanting to catch another like that. Awesome. That's cool. This is a phenomenal bite for sure. In fact, Aaron said it's one of his best days of the year here. Oh, oh you see that? That is a micro trout. <laughs> it's like that long. Yeah. He porpoised on it. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Look at the fastest gun in the West there. Drops it in a little hole and then whips out the net. No, I think this one doesn't have spots either. It's like a quick net draw. Oh yeah. Well, it's got some, they're faint. Yeah. Got him, nice dude. Aaron refuses to stop fishing even as we keep hiking down to Dude, the truck. That's a nice rainbow. That, I thought woo. that was a brookie, it was so pretty. Look at that oh, name. whoa, yeah, I thought it was a brookie too. Wow. That is, yeah, that's like golden, golden that's like red. That's like the one there. I told you about earlier that I caught here last time. Like, I thought it was a brown trout that, that first trip yeah, I took out I here. I thought for sure you had another, another brook trout. That is a, yeah, the golden red on that one. Sweet. Beautiful. Whoa, guys, so I just learned something. I um, I said, how did we miss all of these chanterelle mushrooms on the way up? And Aaron just informed me they grow so fast, they can grow in five or six hours. See, this one was already picked before we got here. And there's one that's picked right so, there. They grew up out of the spot we picked earlier. Whoa. See, look, this one right here, I didn't just so, like, pick that. That's from earlier. Yeah, that is. It's just a nubbin. That's huh. wild, dude. I did not know they grew that fast. So just in like the five hours or so since this morning, here we go, we got another nice collection. I had no idea they grew that fast. You can almost sit and watch them grow. You want to grab some of these blackberries on the way down? Blackberries, yeah, let's grab a few blackberries. Because there's a blackberry bush in the parking lot up here. Here's the gate that uh, we had to walk past. So look at this, guys. We have, uh, blackberries growing here problem is last time I found blackberries in these mountains I didn't think they were very good but these ones will taste huh? I'm used to really really good blackberries in Idaho and um, the second one wasn't too bad the first one though <laughs> blew off the ants and spiders hmm okay that one wasn't too bad either look at this we got just nice clusters up in there they're kind of smaller than the ones i'm used to where i grew up they got a lot bigger these aren't bad though all right back at the truck i'm actually going to go down to the creek let's clean these trout you just won't stop will you <laughs> <laughs> i'm just going to gut these trout nothing fancy you get you got one? <laughs> he got a fourth rainbow trout. <laughs> we thought it would be great, guys, to have two a piece to eat. <laughs> great job. 
What a perfect day. It even has all the more all the uh, chanterelle mushrooms we found. What a great haul, man. Beautiful. Awesome. Sweet. That's two all piece. I wanted was to get two a piece for us. <laughs> <laughs> we do give them right to me and I'll clean them right now, guys. It doesn't get any fresher than this. Dude, this trout looks like it just has a bunch of like bugs and yeah, just a bunch of bugs. Oh, what is the, what are these? That looks like one big bug that's been split apart. It's a millipede, I think. Maybe, Did he eat a millipede? I think those are pieces of a little millipede. Yeah, like segments. That, like, that kind of looks wrong, but it was a lot of pieces of the same of bug. Same of the yeah. All the trout are clean, my friends. You gutted. Ready to go, and Aaron kept the uh, eggs from one of them because he loves to fry. He said they're very tasty. All right, we're just gonna cook up on the back of the truck, my friends. All right, my friends, we have everything set up here, but first I wanna open a package that I got from a subscriber. I'll kind of cover the address there. Um, this is from the Schwartz family. I've had this for a little while, and I wanna open this. Trader Joe's chili lime seasoning blend i'm going to try some of this and then there's a letter in here oh we got some nice drawings here okay so we have the ace logo that is cool nice drawing there i like the size of fish i'm holding look at that and then me snorkeling for crawdads and look at the size of crawdads i'm holding too this is excellent fish on and I have a very nice letter here, Dear Ace. Oh, they want me to read this. Okay, it says, Dear Ace, I love your videos. Please read this on your video. If you already have the Old Bay Spice, then give, then give it away. It is very yummy. My name is Molly. I live in Lakewood, New Jersey. I am in the seventh grade, and I am obsessed with fishing. Thank you so much, Molly. P.S. There are seven kids in my family, and I am the oldest. And their names are Debbie, Zeke, Esther, Mimi, Rachel, Le Leanne, and Mom and Dad. Our whole family is obsessed with your videos. Please put this on your show. I'm glad I opened this up on camera. Thank you so much to the Schwartz family from New Jersey. So here is the catch and cook spread, guys. I kind of brought... All this, what is it? It's a worm. It's a worm in the mushroom? Oh, I see it. He was enjoying it too. I got him. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of our mushroom, bro. We don't want to eat, eat. So I brought here a variety of things. I don't even know if I'm going to use all this, but I thought some green onion, garlic, onion. This is rosemary from my garden. Oh, it smells delicious. And this is a butter, not from the farm. I bought that at a store. And then we got salt and pepper. I just kind of got a really nice variety of things here. And I wasn't sure what was going to be in the package. I could feel it, and I thought it was um, some sort of seasoning. So I thought, I'm going to bring everything, and then we'll see uh, what we end up concocting here. Look at that. Whoa! <laughs> nice! <laughs> Why is it, you know, I just came from the coast, guys, and that's, there. whenever I go to any kind of coastal areas, a little bit of salt water gets in there, and it always makes it uh, do crazy things like that. And then Aaron is over here, he is cleaning up the chanterelle mushrooms and cutting them up very fine, so they cook nice and evenly, getting all the bark and sticks and leaves off of them, and worms, worms, worms out of them. Could you, may you, I know you can, but may you cut up a little onion for us there. Just nice and fine. And uh, we're gonna start with a base of butter, oil, and onion. Now I'll just have you be the sous chef if you could cut up a little garlic too when you're done. Perfect, man, perfect. Let me take this, throw it right in there. Guys, I've put some butter and olive oil. I'm gonna brown some onions first. I also have here a smashed clove of garlic. We'll put in there garlic, onion, butter, and oil. Should be a great base for this. All right, just kind of scored them there a little bit, and we're just going to drop them right in. Just cook them nice and slowly in all of that there. A little salt on them. A little pepper. I have made a game time decision. 
I'm not sure that with all of these flavors going on, what do you think, Aaron? Chili lime in there, is that overdoing it a little bit for these trout? Um, I'm thinking it might be. I might just, might save the chili lime for uh, something else. I actually have a catfish trip plan coming up. That's kind of a lot of flavoring. Schwartz family, I really appreciate it. But in this instance, I don't want to ruin this delectable, delicious trout by overdoing the seasonings. I mean, the chili lime, I'm sure, is great, but I just would hate to overdo the seasonings on these bad boys. We already have some wonderful flavors going on in there. I think just salt and pepper, as far as seasonings go, good enough. And then I'm gonna take a couple of sprigs of rosemary and just put them in there, just like so. Just cooking it nice and slowly. Hey. What did he say? He said dinner. <laughs> the last trout is cooked. Look at that big old clove of garlic was sitting right on top of it. You know, I'm just going to drizzle all the butter right on top, my friends. Now we are ready to cook the mushrooms. Take a little stick of butter here. Come here, butter. And put that right in. Aaron's been cleaning up those guys, which is a chore all by itself. Do the old scooparoo. Sounds good. Oh. And add a little salt to them, guys. Oh, yeah. The best mushrooms I've ever eaten. So we got some Papa's pepper here. We're gonna put that on the mushrooms, guys. This is actually their dragon's dust. <laughs> dragon's dust. <laughs> it is a great way to add heat without drowning your food in, in sauce. Okay, sounds good. We're just gonna put a dash. Should we put it on right now, you think? Or I'm wait? Gonna just... do... Oh, it's that potent. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh wow. So you can probably put a little bit more. Do one more little dash like that. Okay. And it shouldn't, it shouldn't overpower <laughs> it. So you don't, it's, wow, okay, that must be really strong stuff if that's all we're putting in there. You want to try some on your fingers? <laughs> you know, I'm down. I'm going to try some. Uh-oh. Does that have, like, ghost peppers or anything in it? It's got powdered jalapeno, habanero, cayenne, serrano, red Thai chili, Carolina reaper, and ghost pepper. Oh, oh wow, okay, this is gonna be an experience. Carolina Reaper and Ghost Pepper. Yeah. All right, here we go, cheers. All right, not too bad right now. A little heat. <coughs> okay, <coughs> that, um, that's a little that's warm. Really I put a little too much on my finger. <laughs> yeah, you, you put about double on yours what you did on mine. <clears throat> yeah, that's a, that packs a kick. I, I'm glad you just put that little bit amount. Carolina Re Reaper. Well, I'm having a hard time talking. <laughs> Carolina <laughs> Reaper and Ghost Pepper. Wow, look, look at all the water that came out of the, the chanterelles. That's interesting. And we have a lot of butter in there, too. Hmm. Don't touch your eyes. <laughs> yeah, no joke. Make sure... And, yeah, don't snort it either. Yeah, that's, that's, that, oh, I'm glad. <laughs> wow, can, I can't imagine you, like, giving that to me and me, like, ah, oh, sure, just, like, sprinkling some in. I've seen some guys, like, I mean, they'll really shake some on there, and I'm just like, how <laughs> do you eat that? <laughs> yeah. All right, Aaron, what do you think? Does that look good? Looks I'm, good to me. I'm a little sad, guys, because they cook down so much, and, uh, Look how, like, we began with a big, big pile of them. And they just shrink, unfortunately. They'll be delicious. All right, so it's not as beautiful as that wonderful meal you gave me the first time, but I think it's going to be good. I'm going to go for the mushrooms first. Oh, yeah. That's phenomenal. Wow. That was such a good idea to add just a little bit. Or the Papa's Extreme Dragon's Breath, or? That one's Dragon's Dust. Dragon's Dust. Not sponsored, just Aaron brought that with him. The best mushrooms ever had. Uh-oh, They get the ultimate bite. Yeah, <laughs> a piece of trout with a few mushrooms mm -hmm. on it. Oh, 
That's so good. <laughs> right, last time we did this, Aaron told me, he said, just pick it up like a cob of corn. And it was the perfect way to have small trout. Mm. Wow. It's amazing how strong of a flavoring agent rosemary is. I can taste the rosemary. That's one of the first mm -hmm. things I noticed about it. Yeah, yours too. Mm -hmm. I had some subscribers tell me they love onion, garlic, rosemary combo. So to thank, thank you to those guys. We're gonna put a dash. Uh oh. He's putting a dash, folks. Okay. Oh wow. Did that? Oh yeah, that does a trick right there. That does the trick. I'm gonna do mm -hmm. that. Alright, I'm gonna be easy. It'll, it'll come out of there on you if you are okay. not careful with it. <clears throat> oh yeah, it comes out real fast. It's very light and powdery. In fact, we stand upwind of it. Is it coming out? Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright. You might could rake some of that off. That looks painful. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for it. <laughs> That does the trick. That does the trick. Good stuff right there. Wow, man, that's really good seasoning. Go in for the brain. You're gonna eat the trout brain? Oh. You sucked it right out. The only thing disappointing about this meal is there's not enough. That's it, man. That is such good stuff. Mm. Well, my friends, this was a really fun time. You'll probably see the seasoning again in some future videos. Aaron, appreciate you, man. Yeah, man. Guys, check him out on Instagram. I'll put a link to it in the description below. And then you have a, a group of, was it? Uh, Fixed Line Fix, Freaks. Fixed Line Freaks, that's right. Fixed Line Freaks. I'll put them in the description as well. If you guys want to get into this type of fishing. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. We'll see you in the next one.